Hello and welcome to Drake Tarot. Um, this is the Aries reading for February 2020. Um, I'm going to start with the Illuminati deck. We've got the, um, the Psychic Tarot and we've also got the Animal Spirit. Okay, so we will begin with the Illuminati. Oh, before I start. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> it's not too early. I got a dong bell. They're amazing. A singing bowl. Ready? And listen. And concentrate. And listen to the noise. Okay. For Aries of February 2020. Okay. So Aries, while I was um thinking about you guys, I had some words come into my head. One was no response. We had empathy needed. And no blame. Okay. So, with these three sentences, we'll try and get a story. This is for Aries, February 2020. Aries, 2020. Okay. So, we're going to wait for one to... Look at that. We have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is fire energy. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, could be you. The Queen of Wands is someone who is um, very passionate, gets a job done. Um, it's very uh, peacekeeping in a way. Um, but if it needs needs be they do call to action and have a good fight okay so let's do the celtic cross oh we, oh we've got two we have the nine of pentacles self-sufficiency oh aries this is looking good oh okay let's go do 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 Right, okay, let me start. Sorry, I should really show you what they are. These are such pretty cards. You've got to look at them. So that's the Queen of Wands. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, now the centre of your reading, we have got the Four of Cups. I'll explain more in a minute. The obstacle is the Five of Cups. Your highest um, want is the Ace of Swords. Oh, I've got no room here. Hang on. Let's put these here. We'll move our lovely crystals over here. Right. There we go, that's better. Oh, we have a reversal. How we are at the moment is the King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse is... Stubborn energy. Jealous. No follow through. So that's your energy at the moment, Aries. What's going on? In the past, there's a Ten of Swords. Ooh, you've got over something. But in your future energy, you have the Sun. Fantastic. So you go from the worst to the best. Okay. Oh, I'm excited now. This looks like a good reading. We have the Prince of Swords as your advice card. 
king of swords is how people see you oh the hopes and fears the star in reverse your fear is um a lack of hope and ah uh, and your conclusion is the two of cups so something good is going to happen from this a partnership um togetherness right all good right so what we've got the subject of the reading is this guy here sitting here it's apathy it's feeling a bit <clears throat> look at all my cups i don't want my cups here i want this cup i can't have this cup or well, you've been offered a cup and you don't really want it and the five of cups this is loss regret remorse this is someone who's um the reason why you're not taking this offer is because of this loss and regret so you have an offer coming through by the looks of it the past energy is someone who was quite jealous someone who was quite um stubborn um and that was because of the Ten of Swords, which is complete and painful ending. Something pretty major happened and it and it hurt. So that was in your past. What your higher self would like with um, the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is all about a truth, a new truth. It's all about um, power, victory and clarity. You want clarity in this situation. And your recent future will be the sun. So this is the best card in the deck. This is um, feeling content, feeling happy about the situation, feeling all is well. Your advice card is to be the Prince of Swords. Now the Prince of Swords, which is, let me just find, is quite fast thinking. Uh, they're a soldier, uh, a change in lifestyle, and there's travel. So maybe the advice is to travel. Um, use your fast thinking uh, mind to keep um, things cool and happy. Happy to see you as the king of swords. They're very logical. Um, they use their head instead of their heart. They can be seen as cold, but... Um, you know, it doesn't mean that they are. They just see the logic in a situation. The star in reverse um, for your hopes and fears is a situation where it seems you have lost hope. And that is your fear. Um, but your conclusion to the reading is a two of cups. Now, this is a partnership. This is proposal. This is marriage. This is romantic love. So something good is going to happen from this situation. So we need to look into this. What? What's going on? So it seems you've had, um, if we're looking at the relationship side of things, the emotion side of things, someone uh, finished with you. You went through apathy due to the fact of regret and remorse and depression. But after some clarity, you will get the sun. You will be happy. No more of this jealous um, person here, the king of pentacles in reverse. They're not a very nice person to be with. They're pretty stubborn. So you need to be the king of swords. You need to put forward what um, logical things need to take place. Organising. You need to, what's important, not emotionally important, but what's physically important. The intelligent side of it all. Okay, right. So we're going to go on to the um, psychic tarot. I haven't used this much, but we'll give it a good go. 
This is my third reading, Aries. So if it's a bit bitty and a bit slow, I do apologise. I will try and speed it up as much as possible. Uh, I just... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, just getting over a cough. I just watched my second reading. I nearly fell asleep watching it. It was that slow. Maybe I should call it ASMR tarot reading. That's <laughs> uh, an idea. Anyway. So let's have a little mix up here. I think what we need to do is find out what this Two of Cups is about, don't we? To start off with. We'll go in reverse. What's the Two of Cups about? You would like to know. Please, Spirit. For Aries. We're doing Aries, February 2020, February 2020, Two of Cups, oh, a truth, okay, judgment, um, what else have we got, shadow, that's the moon card, isn't it, okay, and the waiting game, Okay, you have to be patient, whatever it is. There's a uh, reminiscing going on here. Due to the memories of love, um, there has been a waiting game to find out the truth. But once this, um, the moon, there's a full moon, the truth will come out eventually. And this will cause a Two of Cups moment. Okay. This will cause the sun. So hold on in there. Be independent. Be forward thinking. Be passionate. Be um, involved is the main thing. Okay. So that was the Two of Cups. I'm a bit confused about this reversed star. So we're going to ask... Oh. Just like that, it gives it out. It's like it knew I was confused. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see, yeah. And so the loss of hope, you had to make a sacrifice. Um, you had to make a decision. And it, I don't know if it was the fact that it wasn't your choice. Something you had no authority over. There we go. The authority card. And there was a sacrifice okay so that caused a lack of hope on the situation i think due to the fact there was um there were things out of your control the major arcana is um something if you believe in it it's fate driven so you have no choice over it um so <laughs> which is fantastic because the sun card saying that you will be happy no matter what um there is light at the end of the tunnel as they say after this ten of swords it's um overdue and it will happen okay so we have the what else can we look at do look more into the ten of swords ten of swords why did the ten of swords happen What's this complete and painful ending? Could be pain, could be backache, some sort of pain you're experiencing. Um, and, oh, hello. Okay. Joyce and, oh, right, okay. Um, I don't know how to explain this card. It's rejoice and celebration. Okay, so there's some sort of celebration going on here. Um, a get together of some sort. And it calls the Ten of Swords moment. Um, okay. Anything else? Anything else for this Celtic cross? Ah, third eye chakra. 
You saw it coming. That's what this is saying. You saw it coming. There was movement, choices and decisions to be made about this situation. You travelled. There was positive movement forward. There was travel. And, ooh, and there was temptation. Temptation involved in this travel. Right. I hope this means something to someone. And what I love to end this, I've got this um, deck called the Spirit Animal Collection. It's beautiful. I think I've got a bit of a problem because I keep on buying all these cards. Anyway, so, right, let's find out what your spirit animal is and wants to say. I don't think anyone's got a specific, specific um, spirit animal. But once I've got one out, I will read the description to you and see if it resonates. Thank you, Aries, for tuning in. We will keep... I'll try and do these as regularly as I can, if you are interested. And please like or subscribe, or both would be nice. So um, we can keep this going. There's a lot of major arcana coming out. Almost as if this has uh, been a situation which has been a big part of your life. Um, you got the star in reverse. You had the the sun, um, and the moon, which is all about secrets. But um, the moon card always tells you that there's um, once the sun comes out, it's all clear. There's clarity in the situation. The truth comes out. Okay, oh, here we go. We have cards. Right, oh, we've got quite a few. Oh, we've got Rhino Spirit, Overcome Any Obstacle. You have Grasshopper Spirit, Take a Leap of Faith. You have cat spirit, claim your independence. Absolutely. Sandpiper spirit, be playful. <clears throat> Starfish spirit, open to infinite possibilities. And dolphin spirit, this and that are true. This and that are true, dolphin spirit. Okay. Ah, what I'm getting from these, instead of reading out every single one, This is um, being single, I think. Um, being single the best way. Overcome any obstacle. Take a leap of faith. Claim your independence and be playful. And this, is, this will bring new love in. This will bring you to your two of cups. So these cards are telling you how to bring new love in so if you show you can overcome any obstacle and you can take a leap of faith if you can claim your independence and be playful you are open to infinite possibilities there's a little message off on the side i think this is a personal message for someone this and that are true okay so thank you, Aries, for listening to this reading. Um, hopefully see you again soon. Um, hopefully next week I can get it out. Can't guarantee it, but I'll do my best. Okay, this was February's reading for 2020. Thanks, Aries. Bye.